What's going on YouTube? Uh, this video, I'm continuing um, my video series on oral and practical testing for AMP students who are getting ready to go take their OMP. I've been doing quite a few things on Magneto, and in this video, I want to address uh, propeller safety. Now, again, this is aimed at AMP students getting ready to go test for their OMP, but if you're a pilot or you know if you're just curious about propeller safety around aircraft, I'm going to talk about that as well as some interesting facts about the ignition switch. So that if, if that interests you, stick around. Now, behind me is a 172, a Cessna 172 that I normally service, and I'm going to start by addressing the elephant in the room. Yes, my shirt is on inside out and backwards because it has the logo where I work on it, and I'm trying, not trying to show the entire world what 147 school I teach at. But let's talk propeller safety, and I'm going to give you three major tips in this video. So if this interests you, like I said, stick around. Let's get to the first tip, and probably the most important. So the first tip is pretty straightforward, and that is that you want to stay clear of the propeller arc when around the front of the aircraft. So you don't want to walk through this area right here. And I'm doing exactly what we shouldn't be doing, because in order to get to where I just got, I had to walk through this downward arc of the propeller. And you're assuming that this was a much bigger aircraft, that at any given time someone could be in the cockpit trying to start the aircraft, or they could inadvertently hit energize the starter and boom, around goes the prop. If you're standing there, you're going to get hurt. So biggest rule, maybe the second biggest rule, depending on how you feel about it, is stay clear of the propeller arc. The second rule, and now this one seems very self-evident, but it is true, and that is that you do not want to stick your hands up in here and start moving the propeller on an aircraft. When you walk up to an aircraft, it is a very bad habit to start moving the propeller, especially this one, because I just finished running the engine, which means the engine is warm, and there could be a leftover fuel air mixture in the cylinders, so if you rotate it, it could go off. Now you say, but Bryce, what about when I have to do maintenance that involves moving the propeller, such as mag timing, such as compression checks? Well, that comes to propeller safety tip number three, which is to make sure the keys are out of the ignition switch and either on the dash or if they are toggle switches, make sure they are off go double check it, triple check it four or five times, however many times you gotta go look to make sure that those mags are off so that when you do reach in here and spin the propeller, it doesn't inadvertently start. And on that note, that leads me to number four. I know I'm rattling these off really quickly. When you do have to move the propeller for maintenance purposes or for any other purposes, maybe you're trying to connect a tow bar, you wanna put your hands flat up here on the face of the propeller, or sorry, on the back of the propeller and you want to move it at an arm's length with your body away from it. Now this sounds weird, but you wanna be in such a position that if you had a stroke or a heart attack, you would fall away from the propeller. So you don't wanna be leaning forward like this. That way, when you fall, you fall into the arc. You wanna be sort of leaning away from it so that if it starts, you are clear of the propeller arc and you wanna do like this. You wanna move it from out here where my body is not in the propeller arc. Uh, continuing right along here, for this aircraft, this is my ignition switch. Now this airplane is not unique in this. There are plenty of other aircraft like this where you have an ignition switch with off, right, left, and both. And I'm about to explain why the right and the left are switched on the ignition switch, but you'll notice the starter is up here on a push button. So you need to be very cautious with this because just because the ignition switch is off doesn't mean that somebody can't accidentally hit the starter if the master switch is left on. So if the master switch is left on and I hit this starter with no key in it, it's going to crank. Other ignition switches, you have off, right, left, both, and then you push to start, or you, or sorry, you turn it to start. Others like some Moonies that I've been in, it's off, right, left, both, and then you have to twist and push the key in. It just depends on your installation, but you need to understand you can still inadvertently energize the starter in some systems, even with the ignition switch out. So don't trust just that the keys are on the dashboard. Now let's talk about this off, right, left, and both. In an aircraft, the left magneto, that's this magneto right here. The left one is the primary magneto. It is the magneto that is the primary. The right magneto is the secondary, the backup, the redundant one, the extra. I always use the uh, example in my classroom that just like my dog, I am the secondary human and my stepson is, my pri is the primary human. As soon as he comes out of his bedroom, the dog will jump off of my lap and go to him. 
Magneto's not exactly like that, but you get the idea. The left magneto is the primary, and the right magneto is the one that is redundant. It is the one that is extra. So the left magneto is typically always the one that is in charge of the starting system. If you have an electronic magneto or an EMAG, it's always going to be on the right. If you have a shower of sparks ignition system, it's going to be the left magneto because the shower of sparks is used for starting. If you only have one impulse coupling, it is on the left magneto because the left magneto is the one that is the primary and used for starting and so on and so forth because it is the primary magneto. So why is the ignition switch flipped? Why is it right and then left? Why is the right on the left and the left on the right? Well, it comes down to, like I said, the left being the primary magneto. When you twist that ignition switch to both, going from both back to left to do a mag check, you want to shut off the right magneto first and assuming that your ignition switch had the starter on there as well, it's to help prevent you from inadvertently shutting off the left magneto during the starting sequence at any point because then it would be very hard to start. Now this airplane is not a problem. It has impulse couplings on both magnetos, but I have been in airplanes where there's only an impulse coupling on one magneto. And if the left magneto, which is that one, happens to go bad, the aircraft can be very, very hard to start. It can even kick back when you're trying to start it because the timing is not delayed. So there you go, everybody. A quick synopsis of propeller safety as well as the ignition switch. I wasn't able to upload my normal two videos this week. We had an issue with our internet, but our internet is back up now. So I'm back to uh, ho hopefully uploading two videos a week. I made this one kind of short just because I didn't have a lot of extra time with everything that's been going on. But I'm gonna go ahead and clean up all of this stuff and I'm gonna go home because I have a headache and I don't feel very good. I will see you all in the next video. Make sure you leave us a like, leave us a comment, subscribe, and as always, go build something and be easy.